you guys, this is my artwork. I have a daughter who's a very talented artist as well. She's abducted and being tortured right now by Child Protection Services and nobody's seen her in two years. And that was because I tried to report a man who did all kinds of crime in this city, including murder, but not just in this city. But he would buddy with the police. He's guaranteed never jail time. But this video, I'm gonna show my paintings. He was actually the muse for this painting. And the theme of my paintings is recycled. So this was a piece of wood that was on the road. And I reclaimed it and turned it into a beautiful piece of art. People presume because I'm homeless that I'm on drugs or I'm mentally ill. They don't presume it. It's just that we live in a very abusive culture where people love to abuse people, especially here in Nova Scotia. So if you're in any situation like that, be proud of who you are, no matter if you're living outside. You just ask God every day to help you. Or Saint Benedictine, and he always will, no matter what they do to you. Okay, so there's my number two. Dan Miller was a really great muse. For those who understand the concept of news, I'm also a writer and I come from a line of writers and artists and which is an Illuminati. And lots of people in Nova Scotia do. So this is, I'm one of a kind Minecraft cube that has a little chip, but I can repair it. I made all all of these and everyone is different. The art that you see here today is for sale and they're one of a kind. I think I made eight of these. My art is in five different countries and it's here in Halifax all over the place. Maybe someday I'll make a list and do an art tour of all the buildings that have mine and my daughter's art in it because my daughter started selling her art at age six all on her own and i'll make some videos of that because people commissioned her for some pretty impressive things so these are all for sale this is a magnet dan miller was my muse with this but my little kitty was my muse for this. She taught me how to do all of these. And she taught me, I fell in love with all the Minecraft characters. So I did a whole set of art teachings of how to do the Minecraft characters and made all kinds of one of a kind. I used to do them on paintings and you could put your kid's name on the bottom and pixelated and I used to teach kids and adults but here in Nova Scotia the government controls who makes money and they're always gonna do things for their friends so here they just shut down everybody's business unless you are agreed to be in the gangs you guys so that's just the way it is here and but god knows no balance there's nothing that anybody can do to you so here's my story it's all for sale it's not expensive i often just say give me a donation give me what you want 20 bucks 20 bucks, you get a beautiful tube, but 
My artwork is worth a lot, you guys. Trust me. Trust me. Don't believe when people say you can't make money from art. Art is on everything. It's bullshit. I sell my art all the time. I carry it with me. Uh, the other day I sat here and taught two little girls at class. They were so sweet. I usually carry my art with me all day, but not today. Today I've got too much stuff because I'm going to the gym and I got to do Lego stuff. Okay, peace out.